sweeter, bolder, better. Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And this time we're going to be talking some food and beverage. I cover a lot of different things on this series. Well, now we're going to talk about New Coke. The New Coke from the 80s. I remember New Coke. I don't remember what it tasted like. What I kind of remembered is that New Coke seemed flatter. It didn't seem as bubbly as uh, the classic Coke. Um, I don't remember that I, I didn't hate it, but I I didn't quite like the change of it. Um, but now with uh, Stranger Things 3 uh, being out, and by the way, I did watch uh, Stranger Things 3 I thought it was slow to start off with, but it did pick up pace, and I think it did really, really well. I, I, I enjoyed it. I have to say, though, my favorite um, out of all of it was Dustin and Steven. <laughs> Dustin and Steve. The, those, those two. <laughs> those, those tag team, that tag team right there. That, that was like the best highlight. The best highlights of the whole season was Dustin and Steve, in my opinion. I thought those two are great. Uh, but this uh, person here, Tim Murphy, is saying it died because of a Southern rebellion. Well, this is interesting. So I have not read this article. A lot of these articles that I find, I don't read uh, first because I look at the title and I'm like, oh, that might be interesting to do an article on. So I save the reading um, for the actual video so that way you can see some honest reactions out of me. There are some uh, that I will look at first because I'm not sure I'm not sure if I want to do a, a video on it or not. But yeah, this is one where I didn't look at it. I figured, oh, you know, the new Coke thing with it coming back should be an interesting thing to talk about. So, okay, well, fun yoga workout. Um, <laughs> In late May, Coca-Cola announced it would produce 50,000 cans of new Coke as part of a promotional campaign linked to the third season of Netflix's Stranger Things. Um, we'll, we're going to get into that as far as the promotional thing. So we're going to cover some different things uh, in regards to new Coke. So it takes place in 1985, which is the same year that the... Uh, fizzy reboot of Coke made its short-lived debut. The new drink makers repeated cameos throughout the latest run, leading to a brief discussion of its qualities during an otherwise tense scene in Episode 7. So Lucas, okay, well they're just going to say right out here it's Lucas. It's delicious. It takes a long slurp and the other kids stare at him, you know, in horror. Um, but this is a fair representation of the prevailing literature on new Coke. For more than three decades, New Coke has been held up as the bad idea by which all other bad ideas are measured. Do a quick Google search for the worst idea since New Coke and you'll find an encyclopedia of face palms. Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> uh, mint chocolate toothpaste for Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. No one seems to dispute its shortcomings, least of all the people who ushered New Coke into the world. On the 10th anniversary of the drink's introduction, the company's CEO told employees, sounding more than a bit like Churchill after Dunkirk, that what happened was a blunder and a disaster, and it will forever be. People speak with less moral clarity about war crimes. Um, this is a... This is a very long article. We're not going to go through this entire thing, just part of it. But I will have a link in the description so that way you can take a look at this for yourself. Uh, but the popular version goes like this. In the early 1980s, not content, with, not, not content with producing the world's most recognizable beverage, greedy executives tweaked the recipe for the first time in 94 years. 
They redesigned the can, launched a massive marketing blitz, and promised a better taste. But Americans wouldn't stand for it. In the face of a nationwide black backlash, the company brought back the old formula, now dubbed Coke Classic, after two months. It's funny, even when they got rid of New Coke, it was still called Coca-Cola Classic. <laughs> I think it, was, it took a while before it was just called Coca-Cola again. The story of New Coke is eternal. It's a parable of hubris. It's also a lie. Far from the dud it's been made out to be, New Coke was actually delicious. Or at least most people who tried it thought so. From what I remember, it was okay. Uh, some of his harshest critics couldn't even taste a difference. Now, there was a difference. It was done in by a complicated web of interests, not to be confused with the web. Um, <laughs> that was kind of its, in its infancy uh, back in 1985. Uh, a mixture of cranks and opportunists, a sugar-starved mob of pitchfork-clutching Andy Rooney's, followed by the thrill of rebellion and a great... What the heck is all this stuff? At its most fundamental level, the backlash wasn't about New Coke at all. It was a revolt against the idea of change. That story should sound familiar. We're still living it. There's one big thing you, could, you have to understand about the New Coke rollout. If people actually liked Old Coke as much as they later claimed, the new version never would have existed. But in the early 1980s, the company's fortunes were sagging. And yes, I have read that. I did read that um, before. Soft drink sales were drawn across the board, or down across the board, but Coke was losing ground to the smoother, sweeter Pepsi. Coke was still doing well in places with a captive market, like restaurants or concessionaires. But at stores, where consumers had a choice, sales were dropping in a way that Pepsis weren't. So Coca-Cola decided to make a change um, and that made a lot of people mad. And then when Coke brought back the classic flavor, their sales went up. So there is talk of how the new Coke is kind of a conspiracy. One, I've heard it's a conspiracy uh, to sell more of the classic Coke, but also they have said that before New Coke, they used pure sugar. And after New Coke, they started using the, um, the corn syrup, uh, the, the liquid sweetener type of stuff. Um, and almost as if they were planning that, but since they had gone to a new formula and then supposedly went back to the old formula, they were able to trick people into thinking that it's exactly the same when it really wasn't exactly the same because let me tell you something if you want to have a real coke i mean a real real classic coke get the mexican cokes because the mexican cokes still use sugar and there's a difference <laughs> there's a difference with the the mexican coke oh it's so good and it's in a glass bottle as it should be in a glass bottle oh it's so refreshing i love mexican coke anyway um coca-cola had been slow to adapt to changing preferences in the past diet pepsi premiered in 1964 but it was another 18 years before diet coke debuted it in the meantime the company offered sugar-free tab which carried a warning label informing drinkers that it was linked to bladder cancer in rats. <laughs> drink up the journalist uh, speculates that the Reagan administration's escalating drug war may have added a level of urgency to the company's long-range planning by threatening uh, the Peruvian coca production. Um, but it goes into um, a whole bunch of other stuff in regards to new coke. So you can check this out if you'd like. Um, here's some pictures. But yeah, I don't want to go into all of this. I mean, we'll be here forever. <laughs> but they're they're saying it was murdered. Um, I wonder, can we get? Let's see if we can get to the end of this article here and try to find out uh, what this all is about here. Change is something the American people identify with. Uh, the Coke executive boasted, but not everyone. Change was that nagging itch 
that some people just couldn't scratch. They were upset about the Pepsi generation, not because of the Pepsi, but because of the generation and the changing of the guard it suggested. Um, frankly, I prefer the soda people to the rest of them, not the Lost Causers, of course. I'm thinking of Mullins and his crew. Blah, 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 blah. But anyway, it's all a little too late to be having this conversation. After all, soda's dead now. Didn't you hear? Millennials killed it. Um, yeah, there is a, a link to that article. And the reason why they're saying millennials killed soda, well, millennials are looking at more healthier things for the most part. Um, uh, more healthier uh, drinks. At least that's what they say. And, you know, between Coke and, and Pepsi, Pepsi's uh, stock is actually worth more than Coke. So there you go. Um, let's kind of move on to a, another um, article here about New Coke is the weirdest pop culture throwback in Stranger Things 3. And this is uh, Lucas, who's enjoying his New Coke. <laughs> And it talks about here the formula change was originally launched in 1985 to mixed results. Today, the drink is considered to be the major marketing failure on the part of Coca-Cola Company and it hasn't been available for purchase in years. Um, although you can get it through the Coke site, but not in quite the way that you think. Um, tapped into 80s pop culture. Stranger Things 3 devotes a surprisingly significant amount of time to New Coke, whether it's poking fun at the concept or using it as a throwback to previous events in the series. For those of us who weren't um, cognizant enough in 1985 to enjoy New Coke, the cultural significance uh, product will likely remain a bit of a mystery. So here's the whole thing in regards to uh, what is New Coke uh, again. And what role does it play in Stranger Things? Is New Coke good? We'll go. We'll go down to that. But here's a commercial. Uh, let's take a look at the commercial in regards to New Coke. Recently, an independent research firm ran a taste test between Coke and Pepsi, and the taste more people chose was the taste of Coca-Cola. Yes, more people all across the country, when comparing Coke to Pepsi, chose the taste of Coke as the better taste. Let's look at it this way. We gave America a choice, and more people said, Coke is in. It's a hit. It's a Coke. Coke is in. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. <laughs> now, you know, this wasn't done by a, a third party. It was done by Coca-Cola. But anyway... Um, is New Coke good? Well, we're here to solve the biggest mystery of Stranger Things 3. As part of a round of promotion for the new season, Netflix sent Polygon, that's this website, two cans of New Coke, much like the soda's initial launch. The results were a mixed bag. Uh, the author of this says, I don't drink full sugar Coke on the regular. So the regular Coke that you get now does not have full sugar in it. The Pepsi throwback, what's interesting is the Pepsi throwback, if you can get that, has, has got sugar in it. Like I said, if you want a sugar, if you want sugar with Coke in it, if, <laughs> that just sounds bad. If you want Coke with actual sugar in it, you need to get a Mexican Coke. And that is great. Uh, but anyway, after getting a taste of both classic Coke and new Coke, I actually leaned slightly towards the new Coke. While slightly sweeter, the taste was less um, acrid acrid I think I, I'm almost thinking acidic and I feel the same kind of gritty film that inhab that inhabits my mouth every time I drink more than a few sips of regular coke with a more muted attack and a smoother texture I preferred new coke and several others in the office concurred ultimately Howard the implications are relatively meanings meaningless you can only buy new coke in the limited time Stranger Things Coca-Cola store. So that's what we're going to get into right now is the website, uh, the Coca-Cola website. It's uh, cokestore.com slash 1985. Again, I'll have that link uh, here as well. And if for some reason this promo is done 
at least this website, uh, at least this video will act as an uh, kind of like an archive of what you could get at the time of Stranger Things uh, 3. So here is the pack. Um, this thing is like 20 bucks. So for 20 bucks, you get uh, two bottles. I don't know if there's a glass or plastic. I'm going to guess it's plastic. So that way they don't Well, no, look at the tops there. No, I think these are these are these definitely look like glass, um, just because of the the caps on the top. But these are just regular cokes. That's all this is. So for twenty bucks, you only get two cans of the new Coke. That's it. Twenty bucks. Um, and then they've got some um, other merchandise here that you can get. Now the problem uh, with this, and I wanted uh, to get some. But the problem is that people are experiencing shipping issues. Uh, like they've ordered it. Maybe they've ordered one pack or three packs. And it's like two months later and they still don't have it. And there are others that have. So, and there's a problem with communication. They're trying to, you know, they're reaching out to customer service. And they're saying it'll be another two weeks. And more more time than that has, has crossed by. There's a lot of people that is that are really not happy about this. Um, and are they're warning people, hey, you know, think twice before you start spending your money on this. Um, but, yeah, so here here is what you get. You get the two cans, uh, you get this uh, original taste of Coke, and you get this thing with the Stranger Things. Uh, it's like, who cares about these two things? Who cares about... It's this here that people are interested in. And of course, of course they are. They P Coke isn't stupid. They know that's what people are interested in. So they're going to try to rape you for <laughs> however much money they can possibly get out of you because they know they're... You know that this may be a limited time thing and they're gonna you know get as much money as they can from people um, but there is a lot of people that if I click on the reviews here I've read a, a, through a lot of these reviews and a lot of people are saying they like it they they like the new coke it needs to be sold um, with all the different other cokes that are out there like the vanilla and the cherry and the the orange vanilla actually is, is pretty good that you know now that you've got different flavors all kinds of stuff why not put the new coke out there now um, maybe call it coke 85 there you go coca-cola I'm giving you an idea coke 85 now, obviously don't call it new coke call it coke 85 and uh, that'll give people a chance to um, enjoy it once again instead of having to pay 20 bucks to only get two cans um it's kind of like uh this crystal pepsi um it was kind of odd when it first came out uh but then they released a a they kind of re-released it for a little while and i got myself a bottle this one is sealed um i'm just keeping this just kind of like for uh collection purposes um, but I enjoyed, I enjoyed the, uh, the Crystal Pepsi. I like Coke and I like Pepsi. I, I prefer Coke over Pepsi, but I can drink them both. I, I like them both just fine. And Pepsi brings out some weird flavors. It's like the flavors that Coke comes out with make sense, but the ones that Pepsi comes out with is just kind of like bizarre, like weird ones. Um... But a lot of people here are saying that that they really enjoy it. Um, but then you, there's a lot of uh, ratings on here of people who didn't get their shipments and stuff like that. So um, I am curious, though, have any of you uh, had the new Coke? Are you about as old as I am <laughs> or older? And did you remember having new Coke back back in the 80s? Did you like it? Um, do you not remember? I just remember it just seemed smoother seems right. That does seem right. It seems smoother. Um, uh, kind of like how I was saying, it just seemed more flat and less bubbly. Um, 
but yeah do you remember that time um did you maybe order one of these packs did you get your pack um and uh have you tried it from this are you just going to hold out and wait and see if maybe they'll release it back into the store hey if they have a limited edition of this and they all sell coke would be stupid not to bring it back out you know and, and sell it uh you know in in regular stores and stuff i think this is a this this could be a marketing test you know it could be another conspiracy who knows but uh, yeah, let me know what you think about this. Hey, if you've seen Stranger Things three, let me know also what you think. Uh, did you enjoy? Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy season three? Um, I did. I did. I, I I wasn't sure when I first when I saw the first episode of season three, it was really it was really slow. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. But by the time I got to the end, I of the season three, I'm like, yeah, this was good. So. And for those of us who've watched it, we know there's going to be a season four. There's going to be a season four. There has to be. So anyway, let me know what you think in regards to this whole Coke thing and Stranger Things 3. Um, love to talk with you. And if you're new here, please subscribe because I do uh, videos on a wide variety of different topics. Um, all kinds of different videos. So you'll know when I upload something. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if I, if I decide to order this, <laughs> and if I get it, I'll let you guys know, because I would like to do a taste test um, on this channel between the two. I think that might be fun. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you on another rambling video.